I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about claims in less than five minutes. You log in. From the Go link to the top left, you click on Claims. You click on the link Prepare Electronic Professional Claims. This brings you to the Identify Potential Claims page. You put in a start date. I'm going to put in 1-7. An end date. I'm going to put in 118. You can go two weeks at a time. And you have a choice of selecting the payer or if you don't know what payers you have claims for, you can click on Find Potential Claims for All Payers, which I'm going to click on. The system tells me that I have two Aetna claims for the patient George the Cat. I also have a link here called View Records with Missing Data that if I click on will show me claims uh, that are not ready to file because there's missing data. If there is missing data, the system will tell you what's missing and give you a link so that you can uh, fix the claim. Well, I just hit the back button and I'm going to uh, click on the link Aetna because I know we have Aetna claims. And I'm going to click on ID Potential Claims. The page reloads and it asks for the billing provider. So I click on uh, the billing provider and I click on ID Potential Claims. Here are the claims. I'm going to click on Create Claim Submission. Then I'm going to click on Submit to Claims. And I'm done. That's all you have to do to submit claims. Now, of course, you're going to want to bird dog your claims. You're going to want to monitor uh, the status of the claims. And there are a number of ways to do that. You can click on the Claims link. And you can click on Review Submitted Claims by Payer. That will give you a list of all the batches that you've sent out. So 119, we sent out this batch to Aetna, and we just sent them out. And you can look across and you can see that there is no feedback yet from the payer. In a couple of days when there is feedback, you can click on the link uh, to the batch and you can see the status of the claims. It will tell you whether the clearinghouse received the claim, and it will also tell you whether the payer received the claim and if it received the claim, what the payer intends to do with the claim. Some other useful links in reviewing claims uh, are the uh, Review Office Ally Feedback link, which will tell you the status of all claims that have been sent out. There's the Review Availability Feedback uh, link, which is for the Availability Clearinghouse claims. You can also go to the Patients page. Uh, and you can click on insurance and click on claims and it will tell you the status of the claims that you sent out. Now the claims we just sent out uh, to Aetna, you can see that the status feedback is waiting for acknowledgement. So there are a number of places to search for the status of the claims. There's also a useful report. If I go to administration, jobs, create new job, there is, under the Claims tab, an Aging Claims Report. You can run this report, put in date parameters, uh, and it will tell you the status of all claims. And it will tell you specifically whether there are claims that are over 30 days uh, without having been paid. This is a very good way to have a fail-safe mechanism to ensure that your claims are going through. So to review claims, as long as you have a patient in the system, I'm going to click on George the Cat here. I'm going to click on Account Profile. Uh, and for claims purposes, uh, you need the first name, the last name, the date of birth, the gender, the address. The address also must include the zip code. And the final thing you need is the insurance information. So there's the tab at the top of the account uh, setup page. When you click it, it will take you to the coverage wizard. When you click on the coverage wizard, is where you enter the insurance information. When you put in uh, insurance, remember you don't have to put in the plan name or the policy number or the group number. You simply put in the subscriber ID. If the subscriber is a spouse or a child, you put in the subscriber's ID, the dependent's ID, as well as the first and last name of the, uh, name of the subscriber. No other information is required. 
So that's it. As long as you have a patient entered in the system, uh, you have the demographic information, their insurance information, and you have a completed uh, intake or progress note with, uh, that is signed and has a CPT code in there, uh, you're ready to send out claims. That's it. Thank you.